Rick Woodbury with Commuter Cars, and uh, we're here with the Tango team, which is actually just me. <laughs> <laughs> the color orange actually is chosen by my customers. Uh, this particular car belongs to Sergey Brin, one of the Google founders. And it's his car, and he lent it to me for the, for the XPRIZE. The Tango is, to my knowledge, the only car in the world that you can buy that fits in half a lane with more clearance than a truck has. It's the only car in the world that I know of that you can lane split, actually drive between the cars where that's legal, as it is in California, all over Europe, and all over Asia. It gives you a three to one advantage many times in traffic. That's a pretty big advantage, and no other car can claim that. I think when people see the Tango, there are actually three major objections. One is, they look at it as, hey, this is small, it's a cracker box, you're gonna get killed in this thing. And I started thinking about that, and when I thought about it more, I thought, I can't think of a safer car on the freeway than the Tango, of any car in the world. When you're driving along beside a semi, you're fine, you know, and if he moves over, you move over faster. You've got incredible agility. Even with a motorcycle, if something happens very quickly in front of you, you actually have to counter steer, lean, you have to do something, you have to react, and there's a reaction time. With a tango, you just turn instantly and it just turns. The design we have now has literally four times more steel in the door than a Volvo. The cage is designed just like a 200 mile an hour race car. People ask if it's been crash tested, I say every weekend by NASCAR. It's basically the same structure. So safety is a huge concern. Um, they think that a wind will blow it over. They don't realize that it weighs exactly the same amount as a Subaru Outback, and yet it's a tiny little car the size of a motorcycle. So with that much density, it's kind of like a block of steel, and the wind doesn't even affect it. So the next one is performance, and a lot of people think, well, you know, it's probably just a dog. You know, and we made it so that it's one of the fastest production cars you can buy. I don't think there's a single Ferrari that can keep up with it. Uh, we've run away from Shelby Cobras at the drag strip. Uh, we run away from most motorcycles. I mean, a Ninja 1000 will take us in a quarter mile easily, but off the 60 foot mark, I just smoked just about everything, including Ninjas. I've had people that have just gotten out of Vipers and then they drive the Tango and say, I've never been in a car that quick. You just can't believe it. It's just instantaneous, it's just full thousand foot pounds of torque, two Vipers at zero RPM. It's extremely fast, extremely stable, and uh, extremely strong. We have a plan to build, um, depending on whether we can raise 50 million or 150 million in capital, we would build either 5,000 cars over a period of two years after two years of development, or we'd build 30,000 cars over two years after two years of development. Uh, the pricing would be uh, 44,000 at the 5,000 rate, and the price would drop to 29,000 if we could build 30,000. The kind of consumer that would buy our car would be any consumer who's stuck in traffic. You know, I figure that in this country there's 140 million workers. Of those workers, 106 million single occupant drivers. And I'm pretty sure that about 50 million of them would rather drive a Tango if it were available at a price they could afford. I've been thinking about this thing for like 20, 30 years, and I can see the logic behind it. It's so clear to me how well this works, and I'm absolutely certain I would stake anything on it uh, that, that this will, be, that will work and it is the future.